Today I'll be showing you how I modeled the handle on this collapsible katana. The original file is made by 3D Printing World from Thingiverse. Thanks to the creator, he left a step file in the download. This is what the step file looks like in Fusion 360. After opening the file, the first thing I did is to turn on Capture Design History, because that is very important for later modification. Here's the design of the arm guard I have in mind, and I'll be showing you how I model it. This is what the sketch looks like on the bottom of the katana. I then extruded everything I need for the arm guard. And then I extruded a little bit of more distance on the bottom. And last, I extruded the rectangle to shape the handle. The original katana was made so that the entire sword can be printed in one go. However, the entire print takes over 13 hours and I don't want to risk any print failures. So I made a cap on the bottom, as you can see here. Next, I created these diamond shapes for the handle. I also created these bumps on the handle so that the handle has a good grip. And I made two sweeps of the circles along with the handle. Next, I made an extruded cut of the diamond from the inside of the ridges to the outside. I then mirrored the cut to the other side of the handle. Next, I combined everything that is the handle into one body so that I can export it all as one STL file. On the same sketch as the uh, diamond, I offset uh, one of the whole diamond and a half diamond with a 0.1 millimeter offset. The purpose of that is to print them out in a different color so that I can press fit them into the diamond. Last touching detail is the chamfer on the bottom cap. After that, I saved each body as an STL file. Let's send it to the printer. So yeah, this is how I modeled the handle on this collapsible katana. I'm very happy with the result. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.